All right, so I'm about y'all. All praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, by Hashem, the Lord, to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, peace and blessings to the around the world that is doing the work for Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, in truth, faith, and in sincerity. The GMS Houston, blessed to be here once again uh, to celebrate and give thanks and praise and honor to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, for another Passover. And so, uh, we're going to kick this Passover off with a lesson. And for this particular lesson, we're going to deal with time being of the essence because we're here. You know, um, we can see the we can see the finish line. Esau's kingdom is at a close. And with that, you know, it's going to be for us more tribulation, more trials, more proving and testing. So we have to stay sharp. We have to, you know, keep that edge about us. And in this wicked and corrupt society, evil is on all fronts. You know, uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8 is very much real. If we can grab that, uh, one of you brothers grab that real quick. And uh, we're going to get into this term of time is of the essence. But uh, let's get that scripture real quick. This 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. Right, so we have an adversary, something that they really don't teach in this Catholic church system, which is total BS. You know, uh, well, the whole Catholic system and, and this plantation Christianity is, is total BS. They got, the, you know, all the followers throughout the world <laughs> running around thinking that it's, things are all good. And right now, the world is gearing up for war, which just lends to the, give more credibility to the topic that as, that's at hand, that time is of the essence. But, you know, we, we, we push that urgency because we haste in the day. So uh, if that one more time, I grab uh, real quick after that brother who that, give me uh, second minute. It's First Peter <laughs> chapter five verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, and that's sober of spirit. Be sober of spirit. And at times when we live in here, you don't even want to really be uh, consuming too much of the yaya, the wine, or the strong drink, which is okay to do. All things are lawful, but all things are not expedient. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little wine, but at times that we live in here, you got to. You got to pick and choose the time, you know, <clears throat> when you decide to get nice. Because, I mean, right now, anything can go down at any time. So we got to be vigilant, <laughs> be alert, be sober. Go ahead, brother. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may be about. You don't just walk about here and there, you know, once a year. This is constant. He's constantly walking by, waiting for you to slip up, looking for that opening to come in there and call wreak havoc. Like you go to see that commercial Say, you know, 
about you know Scott got brothers around us. When your examination hang up to par or you know lacks in certain areas, you must have brothers you know around you to say it. Thing after that is the rock. Mm-hmm. You know, 
programmable money, it's got to be programmed to something. What's that something going to be? It's rough. Hey, just I mean, back up. No, no, no. no. Where, where? Okay. Uh, uh, this is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 7. It says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not all from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Mm -hmm. uh, in my word, in their security. Mm -hmm. You know, our security is in Yahweh shall not be that way. So, you know, we we constantly watch. The scripture tells us Yahweh shall is coming as a thief in the night, as the blood red sudden shall destruction. I'm shot the one coming to that destruction. So yeah, uh, you can make it uh, yeah, uh, real quick, uh, Matthew uh, twenty-four, forty-two. Uh, Watch and see. Yeah, I know that I Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord will come. I think about grace that's talking about people. You just throw that word around loose a bit. Grace you know, period of time is given. The obligation is to fill, man. Like, like, you, like you were saying, the, 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 the kind of uh, right, obligation, we have our obligation to be out by sending out a shot. But right? grace is a period given, given out of mercy to you to get your shit together for the time, right? Faith, faith, whatever you think, right? Yeah, the door of the grace is closed. Right. Grace right. is not infinite. That's right. the period of time, right? right. This uh, Ephesians 5, I start at 14. It says, Well, for he and, said, uh, and the brother is off that voice. Mm -hmm. This Ephesians 5, mm -hmm. uh, Ephesians 5 and 14, it says, Well, for he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall give thee light. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, to the point, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Yeah. You know what I want to go to the yeah, That's the spirit, too. That's good stuff. You got that. Right? Yeah. I want to go on to the word redeeming. It's uh, exaggerazo. And it says, uh, G1805, it says, to redeem. It says, by payment of a price to recover from the power of authority, and it's the main one. It says, to make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good. And that's the time we're in now. Like I said, from Luke 4 28, as it was our minds to go astray, now being returned, return, seek the Lord ten times more. You know, because we went off, we did bullshit, now the Lord gave us that mercy. Now we got to put in that extra right. effort, you know? Yeah, when you really get. When you know when brothers, we are supposed to be in that spirit. When you really get into being about this ministry, you realize you don't have that much time outside of this work. You know, the ministry pretty much takes up all your time, majority of your time. You know, even the meditation you may be up there at the job work or dealing with your family or whatever the case may be, this truth is always on our, is on our yes. minds. We think about uh, business all the time, you know? Then we did you how about sitting outside of business? Even when you're doing this stuff, just say you out about doing things. You're always thinking about what, am I, what I'm doing, is it lawful and is it expedient? You know, you always win your mm -hmm. actions or your conversation scriptures at all times like because we you know we don't want to go off so we always mindful of, of the things that we're doing to make sure that what we're doing ain't wrong you know I, I, I always look for a lesson yeah you know everything you know i think about precepts um different things you go through during the day man i always try to be personally try to find a lesson in everything sometimes in the scripture man because this is my life now right so everything falls through the whole description, you know. Hey, going back to uh first Peter five and eight about the devil having one line going about seeking whom he may devour, 
it's uh gives it gives the you know give the devil less opportunity to yes. to shoot them fiery darts that she gets. You know, or to for that fire them fiery darts to break through the the armor, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are at work in the spirit, uh at every opportunity, you know. That was the one way it said be vigilant. Yeah, be vigilant. Yeah. I had looked at the word on vigilant. And real quick, I'll bring it out off the head of my online.com dictionary. It say, from the late 15th century, from the French vigilant, or directly from the Latin vigilantum, all right, uh, watchful, anxious, careful, uh, to watch, keep awake, not to sleep, to be watchful, awake, to be strong, be lively. And that's what we supposed to be lively strong, man. You know, this got to be in your your heart or your mind, your love, which is how you say the Hebrew, twenty four seven. You can't push the truth to the side for for a few hours and you know be a worldly type person, man. You know, even when you out there, we in the world, but we not of the world. You still gotta constantly keep in mind, man. I should, yeah, I better not do that. Yeah. <coughs> According to the standard. So like it's just you made that point, you know, we amongst the world, we not in the world. You think about uh the scripture too when you have a shot said give up the Caesars with the Caesars. Ain't no way you're gonna be able to do that unless you're moving in this world. Yeah. We know we at this current time we still in the captivity. We gotta operate in this world, all right, but the way we what we operating for is to make sure we do what we gotta do to stay out of Esau's way and then Benefit, uh, 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 benefit to the ministry. This is um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 36, starting at verse 7, it reads Raise up indignation and quiet wrath, take away the adversary and destroy the end. Verse 8 Make the time short, remember the covenant. And let them declare that wonderful works. So the prophet was asking him to follow him to make the time short. Why? Because when the time is shortened, we know that our salvation is near, man. Our time to be delivered and saved from hell is at hand, man. And the Heavenly Father said he's going to make the time short for the elect sake. Yeah. This is why everything is speeding up at a rapid pace, man. All right, this is about this a global reset, a global food crisis. The uprising of the people, right. of World War III, so many things happen with it. Right. It is so beautiful, and I can see how a person can't be in tune with the times, man. Right, and realizing that we are that time. And that's right. kind of the spirit, even now, even just in general, is like shit. You know, we, we don't have much time to be after a while, you know. Just like the Passover, it was something that was done in haste. And we in haste right now to get the hell out of here, you know. Right. And that's why hey, that's why the prophet is asking the most how to speed it up, you know. Mm -hmm. Because yes. the prophets always call hell. Mm -hmm. You know. We we are there catching hell. And you might have some two two thirds out in the world catching hell, but you know, they still look for a way in the world to make their situation better. Right. Not realizing that the only way it's gonna get better is through your house shot. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. so, and the only answer to any and, and all of this shit, right, is for Yahweh Shah to come shut this shit down, right? right. Yahweh Shah have to come shut his shit down. It's, there is no winning for what he really likes in this place. Right. 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 You, you got money, a lot of niggas got money. Right. Then you gotta worry about a, a nigga running up on you with a, with a Draco or, or with a stick. Right. <laughs> running up in your house. Like what what that's what was in 95. Yeah, so money is not the answer. What is the answer? Go and get a gated community, living in a gated community, that's not the answer. You still paying taxes, you still looked at as a member, you still being treated with disrespect. What is the answer? How about some y'all shy the answer? We got to get the hell up out of here. We need a king. That's the answer. Right. Ain't no, you know, uh, 
what's the old boy name? Uh, trying to start the school. Uh, uh, Umar Johnson, right? A school where they gonna mm -hmm. do shit. You know, we are such a disadvantage right now. It would take really 150 to 200 years of, of schooling to just get caught up to, just to get caught up. Uh, but then they still moving. They yeah, they still yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But that go into the lesson. Right. I mean, you know, <laughs> like, but yeah, yeah, you got it. Like, I don't want to say that. Go in. It, it, it will take a long time. Which time? That time we don't have. Mm. We don't have that type of time. That's the beauty of the promise, man. We going man, the elect that's gonna get saved, the remnant for now, and then the rest of Israel gonna get brought back. Ain't gonna have to be taught as uh, as the second covenant uh, speaks of in uh, in, uh, in Hebrews, man. Right, we're not gonna have to teach nobody no more. They gonna born. This already gonna be in. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, because you was talking about there's no answer in this in this world for salvation. Yeah. This world only offers death and destruction. I signed the house. I signed the house. This is uh, Michael 2 and 10, and it says, Read the rise and the heart. But this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Going back to what you were talking about, the only thing that this place has to offer outside of its truth. Is death and destruction. These are the ways of uh, Babylon. They promise you democracy, Christianity, and, and all those that, that those lies. But everywhere you see that this this man is gone, he saw even the so-called white man. His footprints are death and destruction because that's all he leaves, and that's all his kingdom has to offer. And when it says arise ye and depart, come out of his place spiritually, physically. We ain't talking about going somewhere across the world and back to Jerusalem, <laughs> Pink City, and all that. You know. But come out of the ways of this place uh, spiritually because it has nothing to offer but death and destruction. Hit that one more time and then jump over that uh, Jeremiah 47 and 26. Come on, this is uh, Michael 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, but this is not your risk because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. He said Jeremiah 47 and 26. Uh, no. Uh, I will deliver them. Yeah. We have to mix it up. Jeremiah held uh, 26 verses. 47 held 26 verses. Mm -hmm. right, 46. Uh, 46. 46 and 26. Hang on one second. Forty-six and twenty-seven. It's a lot. Come. This is Jeremiah chapter forty-six and verse twenty-seven. But fear not, thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. So the Heavenly Father does have a rest for us. Right. Come. This ain't it. That's right. We got to get the hell up out of here. Right. So, uh, right. And this is speaking strictly to Israel. OJ ain't concerned. Most I ain't concerned with Moab and Ammon and Ishmael, Ham, Japheth. This is speaking to Israel. He, he has a rest. It's already prepared for us. You know? So it's work for whatever we got to go through. You know, uh, the approvals, right? Hardships, your woman leaving you, your dog biting you, right? your children <laughs> disrespecting you, right? This, this rest is an eternal rest. There will be no more. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to, you know, we're going to have sharp minds. We're going to be figuring out, you know, whatever problems come up, down. we own that. You know, we're not gonna be doing this. What we doing now? Yeah, you know, uh, we're not gonna be uh, laboring in this in, the, in this truth. But these are beautiful things. The scriptures tell us, hey, that uh, in, uh, the Ecclesiastes, hate not labor is work. So we love to do the work, but we're looking for the kingdom to come. So we're not looking to keep 
you know what I'm saying, studying right. and teaching and going out. I mean, yeah, we got we know we have to do it because why? This is this part of the contract. Right. It's it's in the contract. We must do this. Yeah. Hmm. Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So, yeah, it's basically uh, just enduring that uh, that fiery trial that we have to you know, go through. You see, that whatever we deal with on this side is, you know, it ain't going to be compared to the glory that we'll receive. Right. You know? I got one thing in mind. This is a, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 10. It reads, Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them anymore as before time. So there's a time coming, brothers and sisters out there, where we're going to have our own place and our own resting place. In the land of Israel, where nobody would ever attack us again, our children won't be attacked or you know oppressed. It's going to be peace for eternity. And I know it's hard to conceive right now because we cut so much in, like ain't no peace. But yeah, I wish I could bring the refreshment to us, brothers and sisters, man, so that we can truly enjoy life and know what it means to truly live, man. Right. Because this kingdom has showed us how not to live. Mm -hmm. And the brother had did a video, the elder in the video about uh, the, uh, the uh, water, man, and how we are, you know, soaking in chemicals. Literally, like, we're soaking in chemicals, man. No matter if you drink a thousand alkaline bottles of water, once you take a bath, your chemicals are absorbing your skin, man. That alone is killing your flesh, killing your, you know, a moisture in your body, man. That's why we, you know, say, you, you, you uh, take a shower, your body itching. Yes. Right. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. He's to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 you know, why we are, you know, we are the times with your house trying to come and save brothers and sisters and their children from, from his hell, man. Right. God. And the key, how we, how do we hate the time? Just sitting, oh, I can't wait till the kingdom come. Right. You know, mm -hmm. you know it's just uh, action. Right. There's a certain way we're supposed to move to show that we ready for the king to come. Yeah. Uh, to hurry up and come. Right. Yeah. Know? Redeemed is an action word. Right. Because mm -hmm. it, it starts in the mind. It's all of the, the thing. It's the thing of the mind. Then we got to put that in action. You know? Right. Let's go with that faith and works. Faith without works is here. You got to have that works behind it. Yeah. yeah no, like, uh, I don't know where the priest is. I let go ahead and bring the priest up. Who had the priest up? Uh, Park Long. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So just to back up what the brother was saying, you will fall under the example of unbelief if you're not putting in that labor, if you're not putting in that work. If you're not putting in the work and you're being idle, you just say, I'm going to wait. But you inactive, right. that's showing that you don't have any faith. That's showing the most high mm -hmm. that you don't have any faith. The scripture is saying, let us labor to enter into that rest that that other brother was going into. We have a rest for us. Mm -hmm. But what do we have to do to achieve that rest? We have to work, which is a show of our faith. Right. And work at a, at a, at a certain pace, you know? Not just on the job, kicking back and one brick a day, you know. Oh, yeah. One brick, on the slap board on the bricks, you know. <laughs> yeah, they got a little song talk about yeah. it. Oh, I'll never do shit at my job. Still in company time. You can't just be at the job and not do shit. You gotta do something. You can't just get on the forklift and make one round and move one pallet a day. You got so many pallets and shit. You gotta get to the doctor day. Right, and then we look and you're looking for the rest. I mean, speaking in terms of working on the job, you're looking to get off so you can get some rest. Yes, yes. You see, yes. So at the end of the the tail end of the shift, you got to get on the boogie to get the work done so you can get. Some jobs is you can't, you know, leave until the uh, work is done. Yeah, done. Yeah. Quick one. Yeah. 
It's so, <laughs> it's a lot. We can't leave this place till the work is done. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. 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 house, I said, it is, it is finished. Oh, he, uh, Paul said it too. Yeah. yeah. I've done the work. Just a quick one. This um, Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 18 it says, By much slothfulness the building decay, and through idleness of the hand, the house dropped in fruit. Mm. You know, just going to let's talk about labor and being active, putting forth whatever amount it may be, just doing something, pressing forward. Read that again, Bubba, sir. It's Ecclesiastes 10 and 18. And then somebody get a nine, uh, 9 and 11. Ecclesiastes eight, uh, 10 and 18. It says, By much slothfulness, the building decayed, and through idleness of the hands, the house dropped through. Mm. All right, somebody, we get that. We'll get Amos. Somebody get uh, 1 Peter 2 and 5 off. Amos 9 and 11. Well, let's get 1 Peter first. Let's get that up. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house. So, what are we doing? We are when the building, we spiritually building with how? We're teaching. Going out on the highways and byways, teaching, doing the, doing the lessons, you know, praying. Being a brother, dealing with the, the brotherhood, you know. Go ahead, Doc. Yeah, that's the reason we use the term edify, which means to build up. What are we building? Right, right. Mm -hmm. We building each other, you know, building ourselves and each other up. Through, through the, the spirit, spirit in the house, right. in the outside. Spiritual house. Mm -hmm. Right. So again, yeah, that's what Paul emphasizes heavily. Do all things unto uh, edification. You know? First Peter, no, 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 no. First Peter 2 and 5. Ye also as lively stones. As oh. lively stones, not slothful stones. Because that brother read that scripture. Uh, read that again, right, real quick. The one you brought up. Come on, this is uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. In verse 18, <coughs> it reads, By much slothfulness, the building decayed, and through idleness of the hands, the house dropped it through. Right. Yeah, man. They're like an account, bro. If the account don't put forth the effort to build a spiritual house, man, we'll fall apart. We'll decay. We'll, we, you know, we'll break off and not be a damn account, man. They burn not doing their jobs. All of them have different positions, different offices. That we, you know, are tending to. And if your offer don't be fulfilled, man, then it won't get rid of your ass, bro. Because we're here for a purpose, man, to make sure that this house is in order. Yeah, and it's steady getting built up. Right. You know? Yeah. Uh, that was it in the first Peter. Let's bring the Amos out real quick. This yeah. is Amos 9 and 11. <clears throat> and that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. And close up the breaches that rose. Right, that's what's happening uh, as we speak. The house of David is being, uh, when we say tabernacle, when we say the house of David is being uh, built up. And the way it's being built up is through the men coming back together, the, the house of David coming back together. How did it happen? Through the preaching, through the preaching of the gospel. Look where look where the, the house was in 2007. Dealing with uh, the, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone uh, getting on first getting on the YouTube spreading the word. Look where it was at then and look how much more it has built up since then. It all happened through this teaching happening. Right. You know? And then what? The different tribes. And then the different camps, we got all the tribes. We got the tribe of Ephraim, tribe of uh, Issachar, tribe of Benjamin, Levi, Judah, and, and, and so forth. Yeah, 
the, the right. pinnacle of righteousness. Right. You see? Right. Then uh, you speak, spoke on quit. You can't quit. That goes into that Luke 9 and 62. Mm -hmm. No man mm -hmm. having put his hand to the plow and looking back and spit for the kingdom of the most high. Right. Hey, a lot of guys quit, so to speak, because the uh, kingdom ain't come fast enough. Yeah. I've yeah. been doing all this work and yeah. it ain't, ain't nothing happening. Yeah. Shit, I'm going back into what yeah. right. uh, type of uh, mentality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of them didn't count the cost. And I didn't know I was going to have to man, my woman, she only to be with her all the time. Man, mm -hmm. I didn't know I was going to be coming studying and going bringing it out all the time, man. I didn't, <laughs> you know, yeah. You better let that shit go. Hey, that's the spirit. The rest of these definitions uh, touch on that. Uh, but it says, uh, to whom the head of the house or proprietor has entrusted the management of his affairs, the care of receipts and expenditures, like going into the talents, man. We, but we spiritually, we're dealing, we dealing with the most high's money. We running all his affairs for him, man. Okay, it says, and the duty of dealing out the proper portion to every servant and even to the children not yet of age, man. This is the heavy office that we hold dealing with this, man. And we know Revelation 12 speaks about the devil having a short time. So if he got a short time, we got the same amount of time right. to, to meet him in opposition. But if we have the spirit, we're going to overpower him, man. All right, last definition. It says the manager of a farm or landed estate or over, an overseer. Yeah, we we are, are, are looked at as what husband. Yeah. 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 Real fresh, like how Shah said, <clears throat> now you must work the work while it is day, because the night cometh when no man will work. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. So we have shot though. Hey, all this off. Right. You know, hold on, Lord. Time is not. That's it. No, time is up there. That's it. No. So, uh, Lord willing, this be the last Passover. You know, done. Uh, I'm saying in hell. You know, uh, but uh, brothers got their mind made up as far as you know. Of the Lord Dean, we in it for the long haul. We know that you know, it ain't gonna be too much longer to haul. Right, right. So with that, we're gonna end this lesson again, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Rakadash. So honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, peace and blessings to our dear worldwide, doing the work with the Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, and hopefully elect. So to the next one, bless, bless love, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.